Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm at the Kirkham Campground on Highway 21 in Idaho. What am I doing here? Come up 75 north, took a left at Stanley. This is 21 something pine, Ponderosa Pine Byway. And been on the road for, I don't know, an hour. No cell phone service anyway, anyhow. But uh, yeah, the campground's closed for the season. They got plastic on it. But there are a few things I want to show you here. So the first thing that's kind of unique is that you enter on a one lane bridge across this beautiful river. Even though the campground is closed, people are still camping here. <clears throat> so say there's no trash services or look at this beautiful water. Holy. Actually, I drove past this. I saw something down there that made me turn around, but we'll get to that later. Show you the other side here. Had a truck come across. I had to cut my camera off and get out of the way. These mountains. Say there was a bad fire back here in 1989. Just destroyed this place. It's two years after I got out of high school. I just can't get over how clear the water is. I almost said there's the BT Cruiser. <laughs> there's the white ProMaster. There's only about 10 camping spaces in here. But the neat thing about it is that it has hot springs. So they close the hot springs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I guess so the campers get a little peace. But there's a, a pop-up camper up there that looks like it's set up semi-permanent. He's got cooler out and gasoline out and firewood out. And I asked some of my neighbors over here at the little hot spring if uh, they allow people are still camping here. And they say, yeah, people are. So this is my camping spot. The babies are inside. Number 15. Got a nice fire ring. It's paved in here. These beautiful mountains. And then there's Tuck. Man, I want to get in the hot springs. No Tuck, there's a sign saying dogs can't get in. So you just SOL. Or DOL. Dog out of luck. Found a little bit of firewood at a campsite a while ago, brought it with me. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna stay here or not. Really, truly, I just want to get in the hot spring for a minute and head on down the road. It's kind of getting late in the afternoon. And I think I'm still 80, 90 miles to uh, Boise. And I don't know what's between here and there. I doubt there's cell phone service. But there's, the park gets pretty big back over here. But there are a couple little pools that uh, I keep thinking I can get in, but Local high school, uh, high school kids, they're enjoying it. And they're not going to be here forever. So, if I stay the night, they'll be gone by the afternoon. I, I know they won't be here first thing in the morning, so I can get in. Just above 35, 36 degrees outside. I got the babies in here nice and warm. They stepped out for just a minute. It's cold outside, Dad. It's a little bit chilly, Daddy. I like it in here. It's warmer. Man, I don't care. I'm, I'm tucked up the terrible. I can take the cold temperatures in my super jacket. Looks like you're fixing to take off and fly, Tuck. That's what it looks like. That's my uh, 
voltage reader. I have a little line run up for my battery bank, so I keep an eye on it in bed. Hadn't finished up my wiring. I'm gonna wait till I get my solder completed, but it works now. Tucker, are you done? No, man, I, I gotta finish messing up the blankets. It's what I do. Oh, good gracious. Tucker, I think you lost your cotton pick and mine. Hun, he lost it a long time ago. I don't think he ever found it. Well, it looks like the locals got their fill. So I'm going to head over and take a dip. Got my shorts on. Let's we'll see what it's like. So there's a, there's a pool up there. Got it dammed off up here. Hello? I will. So you can see the steam coming out of the stream down here. It goes right down in here. There you go. Can I show you around? So I took a picture of these girls up here for them. See the water rolling in. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's warm. That's warm. Lots of people I traveled with last year, they were able to find hot springs. For some reason or another, I missed them all. This is my very first one. Ever. Living the life, eh? <laughs> Wish you were here. No, I don't. I got to feel all to myself. Set in the hot spring here for about 30 minutes and all, the, all my skin's falling off so met, met a new friend here, his name's Kyle. He told me the sulfur will make your skin kind of loose. That's Kyle. Hello. Kyle from Albuquerque that transplanted to Idaho. We've had a conversation. But uh, maybe later on I can show you some uh, hot springs up the way here and, and the waterfall as well. Nice to meet you. So I got out of the hot springs and made a, made a bunch of new friends. <laughs> we sat here at the picnic table and at the van. We ended up talking. All right. We ended up talking for about a half hour. Good kids. Good kids. One of the young guys in there, his name was Perry. Reminded me so much of myself. It scared me. Had a had a good talk with him. Anyway, making friends wherever I go. Well, I got on some new clothes. Said goodbye to my new friends. Oh, I can't decide if I'm gonna stay here tonight or not. I need internet. Chase that Wi-Fi. I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna do. Since I've already soaked in the hot water, I keep feeling like I need to move on. I think I could stay here if I wanted to. But I wanna get out of these mountains before the snow comes in. Right up, right up here. I'm gonna get out and show you something. Walking down here to the main show. Nudity is prohibited in all areas of the national forest. 
Well, I'm breaking the rules left and right. Because I get naked when I take my shower outside my van. Is that sharing too much? I think it's sharing too much again. Some travelers. Tougher than me. I'm gonna take a picture of this or y'all can freeze it and y'all can read it. But look at this place. All these trees were burned in 89. Look how clear that water is. That just blows my mind. There's some hot springs. Give them their privacy. Isn't that neat? I put my hand in this water earlier and it was hot. Even right there. Coming right out of mountain hot. Really glad I stopped here. Yep. Be fun in the summertime, jump in the river and then get out and jump in the hot spring. This is a magical place. I like Idaho. I don't, I don't know how to show it all to you. Oh, it's so beautiful. This has to be one of the most magical places I've ever seen. Let me show it to you one more time. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want you to miss a thing. how to end this video. Some planned it. Get it right here. 
I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.